I feel like a certain Nicki Minaj song would work perfectly for this situation right now, but I really don't want to sing it. So, well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Plays, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we made our way down and fought a good amount of trainers on the one route, except I think I skipped one trainer, but it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna battle everybody. And in this episode, we're going to battle people on the beach. Yes, I am not singing that song. No, actually, that what we a weird thing is that you can actually find a lot of items on this beach, but I'm not gonna go and do it because I don't want to switch my Pokédex, my Poketch to a different setting. Isn't this nice? I love my inflatable tube. I really want Wii to learn a better grass type move just because the moves it has are kind of bleh. So now, going through here, we're not going to fight that fisherman because I believe that fisherman eventually actually has a Gyarados and I don't have an electric type to fight it with, so let's not fight that. So now, let's actually just keep Leifion out here because I believe this is another trainer that is grass water types because yeah, I guess you couldn't guess what gym we're going to coming up to next, you know? With all the types that we've been fighting, I wonder what the next gym is, you know? Well, turns out that wasn't the type I was thinking of, but here we- oh crap, I thought that was a Pokeball. That's what happens when my camera doesn't focus in time, I thought that was a Pokeball. No, it's not. A Pokeball is behind here, and this Pokeball is TM40 Aerial Ace. I'm probably not going to be teaching this to Flygal, just because I don't think that'll be a good move for Flygal to learn. And this isn't a trainer. There's something on top of this big cliff here. My instincts tell me that, but how am I supposed to climb up? Well, we can't really climb up that until for a little bit. Now, we are finally in- oh, no, no, we're not in there yet. Berries. We have to collect all the berries on our quest to be the Berry Masters, collecting every single berry on our path. Hopefully I haven't missed any. I might do a, like a joke bonus episode of me going back and miss getting like every single berry I missed. Oh, whatever. I mean, I've used some, but I've noticed at times that berries really help for certain things because I've had times where like a Pokemon has been a paralysis has been in paralysis, and I didn't have a paralyzed seal, and I found out that a certain berry actually cured paralysis, and I'm like, oh, that's awesome, I don't have to buy stuff and heal it, that's awesome. So yeah, that's the good thing. And now, we are finally in Pastoria City, after two episodes of traveling, not that long, but whoa, suspicious guy. Grr, the package hasn't arrived yet from the Veilstone Warehouse yet. I have to wait here until then. I'm going batty from this wait. Oh man, I wish I could do something that involved lots of explosives. Yup, this is going to be a smashing job for Team Galactic. And he doesn't even know we're there. Oh, 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 oh. That's so pretty. Now, heal time. You know what? I just forgot that I want to switch out my Pokemon right now. So it'd probably be a good idea to do that. Okay. So let's go in here and let's switch out our Pokemon again. Because we really don't need Rock Smash anymore. So let's bring out our good old handy dandy shocker. Oh, I missed you, buddy. I hope you didn't. I hope you didn't mind being in here. Okay, you go back in there, person. Thank you. Okay. This seems so sad. They have to leave both my HM slaves at times doing this. That's why I wish sometimes like six Pokemon LP party things. It's just like sometimes you have to leave Pokemon behind, you know, and it makes you sad. But now, before we do anything in this place, we're going in here. Pastoria Great Marsh Observatory Gate. This is actually the safari zone in the game, so we can actually go in here. Let's see. Welcome to the Great Marsh, the home of Pastoria's safari game. All you can catch for just 500 Poké Dollars, yes. So now, we're probably not going to be staying here forever, but I'm going to be just showing you a little bit of the safari zone, because you know, we can. There are actually a few Pokémon in the safari zone, 
that we can't catch anywhere else. Those Pokemon being some Pokemon such as, like, I believe Krogunk is one of them. Like, the only, like, Krogunk is the only place that has that. And watch out, the Safari Zone has a few places that, uh, you might get stuck in the mud, like that. Like that, you just have to kind of keep going. But now here's a perfect idea to show you how the Safari Zone works. You'll see a Pokemon like Wooper, and normally you'd throw a Pokeball, but no. What you have to do is you have to try po throwing Pokeballs, bait, or a rock at it until it finally catches. And now most of the time it's probably not going to catch like that. And these Pokemon actually have the chance of running away, which this actually didn't work that time. So what I like to do is throw Pokeballs like crazy at or Safari Balls like crazy at it and see if it'll actually catch. And if it catches like that, I got a Wooper. Okay. And you can catch as many Pokemon as you want here. I'm probably never going to be using a Wooper, but there you go. We got a Wooper. We have Wooper to our Pokedex. And that was actually good. It didn't actually run away. So now... Crap, I didn't I didn't want to nickname it. Okay, let's press OK. Sorry for my finger there. I just I didn't want to have to move my cursor all the way over there. And now... Ugh, I hate the mud. I hate the mud. Dang it. God dang it. Every single space we're going in, you get caught in the mud. It gets annoying. I don't know if you're supposed to run through the mud or something or what, but here's a Quagsire. Let's actually try to ball a Quagsire. Okay. This might not work a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that didn't work. And now, will you, will you run away? And, no. I want to show what happens if they run away, but let's bait it. Let's, let's, let's show throwing bait at it. And it'll make them happy. And they'll be like, ooh, what you doing? And sometimes they'll leave. But no, this time they didn't leave. So now we can ball. And this will make them more happy, which I guess is good. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good. But sometimes it'll make it easier to catch. Not like that. And, oh crap, I can't, I can't get them to run away. Usually they run away, but they're not running away. I want to show you that they can run away from battle. But now this is probably going to catch, and then I can't show it. Or no, I'll get three and then stop. Run away. No, run away. I want to show them what happens when a Pokemon runs away. And this Quagsire is like, I want to stay here and be a part of this episode. And then, he doesn't get caught. Okay, you're, be you're just being stubborn now. Thank you. Finally, it showed that Quagsires and Pokemon can flee. And I actually didn't get caught in mud that time. So now, I believe anytime you want, you can actually press, uh... Let's see, retire? There we go. And yes. Now, we spent 500 Poke Dollars for really nothing, but... I really don't want to spend that much time in the Great Marsh, just because I, uh, I might show a whole episode of me going through it, but there's really nothing important in the Great Marsh. There are a few items we can get, but, and also, observatory stuff. Yes, we have to pay to look in the observatory, seriously, and the only thing we really see is just other Pokemon. Like, we see a Yanma in a whole bunch of different places. Okay, this, and also other stuff. Wait, is this like a automatic keep going oh okay let's just watch the slideshow then we got whooper what's next nothing's next yay we missed the whole slide well you saw the slideshow okay now we are done with that because i wasted money and wait how much money do i have that's what i just thought crap your money is not in your bag actually it probably should be but no your money's on your trainer card what do you think this is pokemon Forty-five thousand poke dollars that's actually not that bad so what are we doing now? We are going to not go that way. We are going to be going down, and we are going to be buying some stuff. And I believe the Pokemon is way down. Oh, berries. 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 I saw the berries. Gotta get the berries. Why not? You know, the berry... Crap, I didn't want to do that. I can't... I'm not planting a berry there. But no. I can't believe. If I didn't see this, I might have missed the berries. And now, I usually always think Pastoria City is really small... But then again, I always forget that there's a part down here to Pastoria City. I think it's just the gym up there and then it's done, but no. There's a good amount of stuff here. But I always found it weird because Pastoria City is really the only city that has grass in it. It's There's no, like, actual, like, area here. And I believe we can actually leave Pastoria City if we wanted to and go a different way. Like, you can do that if you're kind of running out of stuff or to do or whatever. But now, I believe we shall get... Okay, we don't need super potions. We have Moo Moo Milks if we need any. Looked at a few paralyzed heals, just in case. Probably we don't. Yeah, we probably don't need paralyzed. Crap! Did I even buy them? And okay, we bought one paralyzed heal. Okay, we bought one. Yay! Uh, what else do we need? Let's get a few super repels too, just in case if I ever need them for like traveling and stuff to make episodes not that long. Okay. 
Now, that probably wasn't all that much. I might buy some more stuff off screen. Or I might fly over to Veilstone City and get stuff from the department. The, 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 the. Get stuff from the department. Get out of my way. Get stuff from the department store. Now, before we try going into the gym, I'm just going to say one thing. Lead out with an electric type. Y you'll see why I say lead out with an electric type for now. But let's go over here. And, oh my god, it's Tim. Oh god. Whoops. <laughs> I'm not always going to plow into your, into you every time we meet. So how's it going, Juddle? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Yes. The reason I said to start out with the Shocker or an Electric type or whatever is because we're battling Tim again. And he always starts out with the Star Ravia at level 34. So it's probably a really good idea to start out with a move that is an Electric type. Just because you want to be able to kill this guy pretty fast. So let's try and kill this guy here, you know? Let's see if we can get a thunder on him. And, ooh, this could be bad because double... Uh, I don't even have to explain double team anymore. I don't think I did, but I'm pretty sure you got what... Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry for interrupting myself, but I'm just happy thunder hit. So there's no way that's going to survive, but... Double team evasiveness and thunder's already a move that misses a lot, so, yeah. Then again, I probably should get, like, a rain dance to put on shocker. Just so, like, it, because Rain Dance actually makes Thunder never miss. So let's switch Pokemon out here to our handy dandy little jet because he, I saw he sent out Ponyta, which is a definite different kind of case, I guess, because I'm not really a fan of Ponyta. I'm more of a Houndoom kind of guy, but let's use Brine on this person. And I forget these Pokemon are very close to my level, so that's why they're always faster than me, or faster than some of my Pokemon, but. Then again, I don't need to be a high level to kick their butt. Okay, that survived that. That, uh, that looked really close, though. But let's just use the Bubble Beam, because I don't want to waste anything else. So, yeah, that Ponyta is dead now, I can tell you that. It is definitely dead. Now, what? Okay, I just repeated myself again. But level 34, that is awesome. Two more levels, and actually Jet will evolve, which is awesome. I know I didn't kind of make it any surprise, but... We have the main guy here, we got Mr. Grottle. Now, since we finally have a fire type, we can actually counter this guy pretty easily. So let's bring out Dr. Doom. And now Grottle, he's a very defensive guy, so if you really want to, try to hit a Fire Blast on him. Because I believe Fire Fang won't kill him, and since Fire Blast is like 120 base attack power, you should probably hopefully KO that. Yep, you can one hit KO it with that, because, like I said, Grottle's pretty good at defenses, and another Pokemon to reach level 34. But, uh, unlike Jet, Houndoom won't evolve, because Houndoom's already fully evolved. Now, Buizel, let's switch Pokemon here. Let's actually bring out Weed, because I don't want to have to use Shocker again, because, hmm, you know, Grass types are strong against these types, and I believe, no, Flying is strong against Grass, so yeah, not a good idea to do that. Yeah, I can tell you, raise your Pokemon to be tough even though most of my levels are lower than your levels. Okay, let's use... Let's use Bullet Seed, because I believe Weasel doesn't weigh that much. Because, yes, I keep forgetting that Grass Knot does damage to hot, heavier weight Pokemon, so probably Bullet Seed would be better, because also, uh, I believe Weed specializes in regular attack and not special attack, and Grass Knot's a special attack move, so we should probably destroy this Weasel in a few... Or we can destroy it in one more hit. Okay. And I believe that was the last Pokemon. And yeah, he went down pretty easily. That was one of the easier trainer battles against him. What just happened? You're telling me I just lost? Yes, you did. And you gave me 3,600 Poke Dollars. Thank you very much. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe you did get a bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got beat because I was careless. Oh yeah, I joined Mr. Wake as an apprentice. Like, I want my own theme song. Okay. And I believe after you battle him, he'll actually be up here. I'm not so sure. No, he's actually not up there until a little bit later. But now, I know this is a little bit short of an episode, but I really don't want to take on this gym in this episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we are going to be going into Pastoria Gym. Well, let's read the sign. Pastoria City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Crasher Wake. The tor tor Torrential Mast what? Master. Okay. So in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we are going to be going into Crasher Wake's domain in the Pokemon Gym and taking on that water-type trainer. 
I almost said fire type. There are no fire type gym leaders in this game. This has been Juddleplay saying see you later and goodbye.